Okay, everyone. So now we are discussing the client-server model of the .NET. Client-server model. We know that we are dealing with the web applications and other applications where we are having the client and the server. Let's say I am the client, another is the server. If I let's say open Facebook.com, so a request go to the server. Now server give me reply with the Facebook page. So that is the client server model. Now in that client server model, there are two types. One is the two tier architecture and second one is the three tier architecture. So first of all, we are discussing the two tier architecture. Here we can see that we are having the client. On the other side, we are having the data server. We can see that there are two things available. The first thing we are having is the client and the second thing we are having is the data server. So two things are there. That's why it is called the two tier architecture. So there are two tiers. The first we are having is the client tier. And the second thing we are having is the database tier. Now these two tiers are having their own individual feature. So if we talk about the client tier or the first tier which we are having, then it provides the user interface. Then if we talk about the second feature, that is the presentation services. And the next feature is the application services. So if we talk about the first service, which is the user interface, that means how the user is going to interact with the system. So that all things means is the apps are available or some type of software are available so that is called the user interface let's say if you are going to any of the atm machine now here you are having the multiple controls available if you are clicking on the cash then you can collect the cash over there so multiple options are there so how the machine is going to interact with you that is called the user interface now presentation services once you will be having any project or the website, how that will be presented to you. Let's say if you talk about the Facebook, how the first page will be presented to you. That is called the presentation services. Now application services, how the controls will manage means that comes under the promotional part. So that is called the application services. Now we are going towards the next tier, which is the database tier. And in the database tier, we are having the first application or the feature that is the data service. Then the next thing we are having is the data validation. And the third feature we are having is the business services. So if we talk about the data services, that means how the database will be connected which type of database they are going to provide. Let's say it is the Oracle, SQL, which type of tables they are containing. So that is called the data services. Now data validation, we has to validate the data. Means is the data correct? Let's say you are demanding me some data. Am I giving you the proper data? So that is called the data validation. Now the business services means just like to give you the proper information of the data which you require. So that is the business concept, giving the proper thing to the proper person. So that comes under the business services. So this is the two tier architecture where we are having the two tiers. One is of client and one is of the data server. Now we are going towards the next architecture, which is the three tier architecture. So now in the three tier architecture, we are having the three components. The first we are having is the client. Second, we are having is the application server. And the third we are having is the data server. We can see that it is the three tier architecture because in the first tier, we are having the client. In the second, we are having the application server. And in the third, we are having is the data server. 
so there are three components and if we compare the three tier architecture with the two tier architecture there is one component which is extra that is the business component so that component is extra so that's why the three components are there it is called the three tier architecture so if you talk about the first tier then we are having is the client tier and if we say about the second tier and that is called the business logic tier and the last tier we are having is the database tier so there in the third tier we are having the business logic tier or the business component which is extra that means all the business related things should be coming in this particular tier only the applications of all the tiers are almost same as the above tier so they are taken from the two tier architecture so if we talk about the client tier the first application we are having is the user interface the second application we are having is the presentation services that means client tier is only dealing with the user interface means how to interact with the user and presentation services means how to present the project or the website to the customer or the client so these are the two features which are in the client tier only then if we talk about the data server in the data server we are having the first feature which is the data services and the second feature we are having is the data validation so these are the two features under the data server that means data services means how to manage the data which type of data will be provided to the customer it is table oracle sql and data validation means validating the data so these are the two features which are there into the data server so now if we talk about the business component or the business logic tier then we are having the services or the features the one is the application services and the second one we are having is the business services so now all the business related services means which are the applications we are providing which type of business we are providing so there we are having the layer that is called the business logic tier into the three tier architecture now if we compare the client server model with two tier and the three tier you can see that their features are almost same but yes tiers are different let's say if you talk about the two tier architecture there we are having the two tiers first of all if we talk here in the three tier architecture we go to the client then here are two services which are provided user interface and the presentation services now compare this with the two tier architecture here these two services are present now we are going towards the three tier architecture data services now these two services are matching with the data server services of two tier architecture now again compare the business component features here so application service and the business service now these two are taken from the two tier architecture client and database so that means overall all the features are same but yes what is the difference between two tier and the three tier architecture the simple thing is that in the two tier we are having the two layers one is the client and one is the database and in the three tier we are having the three layers one is the client one is the business and one is a database if we are having the two tier architecture then application service client has to do and business service database has to do but if we are having the three tier architecture and we are having the separate component of the business then these two services will be taken care by the business tier logic that means now client and database no more should be involved into the business or the applications these are only taken care by the business component so this is depending upon the person which architecture they are following let's say if i am following the client and database i don't want to involve any other person in between then obviously the client has to focus on the application as well as database has to focus on the business as well 
but let's say if i want that i am having very huge money i can spend the money on the business as well for the promotion i will be going with the three tier architecture so their client and database don't have to work on any of the business component they should not be working on business and application so separate layer is there which is the business logic tier so this is the difference between the two tier and the three tier architecture so this is how we can develop the client server model into the dotnet